Imagine a world where Europe and Africa are no longer separated by the sea, but united through vast lands. Think of a time when energy crises are just old tales and the Mediterranean Sea, as we know it, dramatically transformed. What if this wasn't just fantasy, but part of a grand plan with hidden geopolitical motives? Today, we're delving into an astonishing concept and the lesser known truths of an idea that could have altered our planet's face forever. This is the story of the Elantropa Project, a colossal engineering vision. Join me as we uncover the hidden layers of this fascinating plan. Why did it not succeed and how would it have changed our world? Hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Who was the mastermind behind this grand vision of Elantropa? Meet Hermann Zogel, born in 1885 into a family of architects, a notable figure in the Bauhaus movement and a philosopher. Zogel pondered deeply over culture, space, and geopolitics. Despite not having renowned architectural works to his name, his legacy is tied to a groundbreaking idea, building a dam at the Strait of Gibraltar aiming to lower the Mediterranean Sea by 200 meters. This audacious plan was named Alan Tropa. Zogel's vision was not just about architecture, it was about reshaping the world as we know it. Envision the Alan Tropa project, a monumental plan to reshape continents. It involved constructing massive dams across strategic points like the Strait of Gibraltar and the Dardanelles. And between Sicily and Tunisia, these weren't just dams. They were to house enormous hydroelectric power plants, serving as the bedrock for a new supercontinent. The ambition was to divide the Mediterranean into two separate basins, lowering the western section by 100 meters and the eastern part by 200 meters. This would reclaim a total of 660,000 square kilometers of new land from the sea, an area surpassing the size of France. But Alan Tropa's vision extended even further. It later proposed the construction of two additional dams across the Congo River and the creation of a Chad in Congo Sea. Hermann Zogel, the mind behind the grand plan, believed these modifications would moderate the African climate, making it more conductive for European settlement. It's important to note that era's mindset influencing these ideas. Zogel's plans mirrored the colonial and racially charged sentiments of the time, viewing Africa as a vast expanse ready to accommodate Europe's burgeoning population and to exploit its resources. Such notions, reflective of the period's troubling ideologies, underpin this ambitious yet controversial project. Hermann Zogel, behind the Alan Tropa project, envisioned it as more than a geographical transformation. He proposed constructing dams at the Strait of Gibraltar, the Dardanelles, and later between Sicily and Tunisia. These dams, doubling as hydroelectric power stations, aim to supply all of Europe's energy needs. Zogel's plan also predicted that stopping water flow into the Mediterranean would, through evaporation, create an extra 357,000 square miles of new land. The Sicily-Tunisia Dam would split the sea into two basins and bridge Europe and Africa. Zogel's idea, born out of his experiences with the horrors of the Great War and his background in the Bauhaus school, was deeply philosophical. Witnessing war's devastation, he became a pacifist, aspiring to design a world where war was not just undesirable but impossible. Alan Tropa, for Zogel, was a step towards the utopian vision, merging his architectural prowess with a profound desire for lasting peace. Hermann Zogel, analyzing the future's power dynamics, envisioned three dominating superpowers a Pan American bloc, a Pan Asian alliance in the East, and the weakened post war Europe. Vulnerable to these giants, the inspiration for his Alan Tropa project struck in 1927. Influenced by Otto Jessen, a geography professor, this bold idea emerged from Europe's challenges, overcrowding, dwindling resources, and energy crisis. Particularly for post-Great War Germany, the situation was dire, with significant territorial and colonial losses. Zogel's Alan Tropa aimed to address these issues by merging Europe and Africa, creating new land and resources. He believed that without drastic measures, Europe couldn't compete with resource-rich Asia and the Americas. His approach was to bring the land to Europe rather than seeking resources abroad. However, the sheer magnitude of Alan Tropa was its downfall, requiring an overwhelming investment of resources, making it an impractical solution for Europe's future needs. Delving into Alan Tropa's potential impact reveals a paradoxical blend of ambition and potential catastrophe. Zogel, the architect of this grand vision, saw Alan Tropa as more than an engineering marvel. He believed it to be a necessary response to looming crisis. Fossil fuels, in his view, were a path to economic turmoil, societal strife, and international conflict. 
Alentropa, spanning across Europe and Africa, promise not just a technological revolution with vast tracts of new land and an endless supply of clean, renewable energy. It envisioned a unified Europe, transformed socially and culturally by these advancements. The spark for Zogel's ambitious plan came in 1927, learning that the Mediterranean's water level was maintained by the flow from the Atlantic through the Strait of Gibraltar. He conceived a daring solution, build a colossal dam between Africa and Spain, and additional ones in the Dardanelles Strait and at the Nile's mouth. This would lower the Mediterranean's water level through evaporation, revealing extensive new lands. Moreover, gigantic hydroelectric plants on these dams would endow Europe with a wealth of electricity, potentially reshaping the continent's energy landscape. Alan Tropa, conceived by Hermann Zogel, was a project that, despite its ambitious goals, risked catastrophic ecological consequences, intended to reshape Europe and merge it with Africa. It also poised Africa for exploitation by the European empires, craving its natural resources. Zogel, influenced by colonial and supremacist beliefs, viewed this as a geoengineering triumph that would solve major global issues. However, the environmental impact of Alentropa would have been devastating. Draining parts of the Mediterranean could have raised temperatures in some regions to a scorching 80 degrees Celsius, far surpassing Earth's highest recorded temperature. This would render areas like Kuwait uninhabitable wastelands. Additionally, the project's effect on marine life would be disastrous, with significant declines in fish populations and destruction of vital underwater habitats. Moreover, the alteration of the Mediterranean would disrupt crucial climatic patterns, including the jet stream, leading to potential rapid desertification across Europe. Alan Tropa, while visionary, Teetered on the edge of causing an unparalleled ecological and humanitarian crisis, Alan Tropa's potential impact on southern Europe and beyond was profound. This project, extended from Albania and Greece to Lithuania and Berlin, risked turning these lush regions into barren landscapes akin to the Mojave Desert. Imagine the Mediterranean transforming into a real-life Tatooine, where low dunes trap intense heat creating a blistering environment. The consequences wouldn't end there. Europe's arid land would be prone to catastrophic mudslides due to powerful storms generated by the surrounding heat bubble. These storms, causing heavy rains, would result in continent-wide mudslides, which would then quickly evaporate, leaving a desolate landscape of dry sand. The aftermath of Alentropa could lead to even graver outcomes. The new desert, incapable of sustaining life or moisture, might also fail to retain heat potentially triggering a global glacial event. This could envelop the Earth in ice, a scenario supported by the nature of deserts that are hot during the day but extremely cold at night. Alan Tropa, while ambitious, flirted with environmental disaster on a global scale. The envisioned Alan Tropa project threatened to transform a once verdant and moist Europe into a vast, arid desert. This drastic change would have led to most sunlight being reflected back into space, causing any remaining water to freeze and evaporate. The continent, now excessively dry and cold, would be unable to melt the swiftly forming glaciers, triggered by northern rains. This could initiate a feedback loop potentially plunging the Earth into an ice-covered state, akin to the Great Oxidation Catastrophe about 2 billion years ago, when the absence of plant life failed to halt the spread of ice sheets. In that ancient event, it took the Earth approximately 300 million years to recover its warmth. In the case of Alentropa, while the ensuing Ice Age might not have been as extreme, it could have spelled the end for human civilization as we know it. The fate of Alentropa, however, hinged on Nazi approval. Interestingly, Zogel's plans were dismissed by the Nazis, whose territorial ambitions leaned towards the east rather than the south. Thus, the Alentropa concept lingered until World War II, but eventually became redundant with the advent of nuclear power and the decline of colonialism. Hermann Zogel remained a staunch advocate for Alentropa until his mysterious death in a hit-and-run accident while cycling in Munich on Christmas Day, 1992. The circumstances of the accident, occurring on a notably straight route with the driver never found, led some of his followers to suspect foul play. After his death, discussions about Alentropa surfaced but gradually faded. The Alentropa Institute, the project's cornerstone, was dissolved in 1960. The concept, however, found a place in fiction. 
Philip K. Dix, The Man in the High Castle, released in 1962, imagines a world where Nazis, victorious in World War II, drained the Mediterranean, echoing Alan Tropa's vision. Today, Alan Tropa is a curious footnote in history, symbolizing the enduring human quest for solutions to Europe's complex problems. The project reflects the historical anxiety around issues like climate change and immigration, mirroring contemporary concerns. If you enjoy our content, please share your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.